Colorado Springs number one car show by default. This is Automotive ADHD. There it is. Hey, there you go. You're listening to the Automotive ADHD show. Matt West here, hanging out with you, playing more of your car sounds on the radio. That was Christopher's 1984 Mustang GT Fox Body Mustang 302 cam headers intake, all of the good stuff you want on a Fox Body Mustang. And remember, you can send those car sounds into the show, Facebook dot com slash automotive ADHD. Uh, now, I got a couple things to get to here. We're in the last segment. I got stuff I got to talk about. We got to go quick now because we're talking about funny road signs. And to wrap things up, we're going to talk about Cummins, the current legal issues that Cummins is facing and what that means for you as a as a owner. So uh, we're going to get to that here. But um, before the break, I was talking about road signs and how funny road signs are going away. And yeah, you've probably seen some of these. I, I've highlighted some of them here. This is from uh, Virginia. Um, and uh, there's I'll read a couple of the funny blurbs you might see on some of these electric road signs, which is um, get <laughs> the, the one here that that stirred some uh, controversy, one could say, was, quote, get your head out of your apps, APPS apps like phone apps. That's um, that one stirred some controversy there. Um, there have also been some other uh, other funny ones like, oh, snap, your seatbelt. But um, rim shot. There it is. I, I don't have a rim shot sound effect handy because of, of course I don't here, but that, <laughs> that's okay. But all right. Okay. At best, at best, hear me out. At best, you kind of cringed at those jokes. Yeah, they were funny. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I get it. They were kind of funny, but at best they are cringe worthy jokes. And don't worry because if you don't want crin cringe worthy jokes, the government is here to help. And, and I'm not joking. They have literally made, uh, the feds have implemented a new policy that is going to be implemented nationwide when it comes to funny road signs. And they have made, and I kid you not a 1,100 page manual on how to not be funny with road signs. I, I'm not even kidding. They have <laughs> 1,100 pages on how to not be funny. It, it, is, does anything say federal government more than that? That is very government, in my opinion. Um, and what does this mean for us? Uh, well, I mean, it means that there's a few things this means. But um, one of the things, um, one of the guys, a traffic safety safety manager, and, and tying this into Colorado, my home state, uh, Sam Cole, a traffic safety manager as, at the Colorado Department of Transportation, he's been one of the guys responsible for funny road signs, at least in the state of Colorado. Um, and he said that he has some rules for road signs, right? He says, quote, you want to do something unusual, but... That, that you should limit it to, you know, a message being six or fewer words. Keep it clear. Make it memorable. He says humor is a great way to grab people to grab people's attention and make it stick. Um, but that being said, he he says in the past he might have gone overboard in previous years with road signs. So perhaps it is his fault. The feds are <laughs> cracking down on this. But no, not really. Um, the. Um, the, the fact is, I think, uh, you know, and I've never been one for more government regulation, especially 1,100 pages on how to not be funny on a road sign. That is that is next level right there. I, I, <laughs> I'm, I can't even, I don't know. But um, regardless here, I appreciate humor. Humor is a great way to do things. But 99% of the time, think about it this way. Humor doesn't land, okay? Uh, people are going to spend more time looking at the sign, trying to figure out the message of the sign, especially if it's got some sort of millennial... Um, you know, you know, millennial or a Gen Z, or if they wrote the message on the sign, anyone over the age of 40 or 50 is going to be looking at that sign, squinting and trying to figure out what on earth this combination of letters even means, right? Um, and here's another problem, though, too, right? So you create one problem when you have jokes that don't land, which is that people are going to spend more time trying to figure it out. They're not going to get the joke. It's going to fly right over the, their heads, and whatever safety message you were trying to convey goes out the window. The other problem is, if you are funny, 
if you are genuinely funny, you have created another issue, which is everyone will immediately, while they're driving, pull their phone out and start taking pictures of the funny road sign. And that is its own safety hazard. So actually, by being too funny, you've created another hazard. So, I mean, this is... This is actually something where being too funny is actually a problem. So if you're neither too funny nor too serious, if you're somewhere in the middle, you come in perfectly in the middle there, well, then the joke just comes off as half-baked and it, it might get a brief chuckle out of somebody and then you'll they'll immediately forget it. You know, thus making the entire purpose of the sign, which was to get you to remember a safety message, entirely pointless and invalid. So here are your options. Bad jokes that no one finds funny and pop culture references that maybe five people will get, or at least a teenager would get. Um, that's one option, right? Moderately funny signs, no one's going to remember them. They're not going to care about the safety message. Or if your joke is too funny, I mean, everyone dies. That's, that's basically what happens. They pull out their phones and they crash and everyone dies. I mean, it's like that old Monty Python skit where they made a joke so funny that it literally killed anybody who heard it because they laughed themselves to death. And then they sent the joke out to the military to use, to use against the Germans in World War II. It's a great skit if you look it up. Talking about humor, though, that no one gets, or dated references. I, I, just, I just made one right there. But honestly, you can't win. You can't win when it comes to funny road signs, and you shouldn't try. This is one of the weird things. I don't support increased government regulation, and the Fed's coming in making 1,100 pages on how to be unfunny, is crazy to me. But also, I get where, where it's coming from. And you might find this as a surprise take from me, but I kind of agree that we shouldn't have the funny road signs. I agree that we should not have them because the signs are there to deliver safety messages on the road. I need to know if traffic is backed up in a certain area. I need to know if there's a crash that I need to get around or if the weather's bad up a mountain pass. I need to know these things as a driver. And a message like get your head out of your apps doesn't doesn't help. Again, apps, you know, on your phone in case anyone misheard that. But um, anyway, that doesn't that doesn't help me be a safer driver because anyone who's got their head in their apps for the record is not going to see the sign anyway. So <laughs> that leaves you nothing. I mean, come on. What can you do? This might be the one and only instance where I side with the feds on this. Um, and I mean, come on. Uh, I, I don't I don't get it. Maybe maybe they're maybe the government's actually trying to prevent uh, the creation of a joke of mass destruction, a JMD. Maybe that's what they're doing. Maybe they're trying to save the world. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, that being said, if you've seen some funny road signs, go ahead and take a uh, go ahead and take a picture of them. Send them to me on the Facebook. But don't do it while you're driving. Don't do, have your passenger take the picture because I, I just talked about how you shouldn't do that. So have your passenger take the picture. Uh, if if they can't, just remember it and draw it out by memory or something after the fact. So that those those are your options. But send them to me on the Facebook page, facebook.com/slash/automotive ADHD.